Hey guys, Tim Kale, Tim Kale Knife. So, what we're gonna talk about is the ever so popular sling bag, or it's a crossbody uh, bag set up for off-body carry. I used to not think that I would ever carry off-body or a fanny pack, and I wanted to see why I would or would not do it, and I would, so here is why. One, I can carry more weight in this, and it's much more comfortable than having all this stuff in my pockets and on my waist. I can move better and I can still access my items. The bag I'm using today is the Night Core. I think it's the SL07. I'll make sure that when I put that in the comments that I get the exact model number. Um, I really like this bag because it's narrow. And the main reason why I like that it's narrow is it's got this really cool feature. One, the stitching on this Night Core is incredibly durable. This bag has got this neat little lock system, so you can switch it really quickly to the uh, fanny pack. I hate that name because I grew up in the 90s, but it's got a lot of padding, and you put it on, and look how quickly it adjusts. You just grab it, but it's not going to loosen, and then it's got a quick release, a QD for fanny pack style carry. I like to carry mine over the shoulder, so on the back side, starting on the outside, it's got this pin holder, which is great for a tactical style pin. This is the Bastion. I talk about this one a lot because it is high quality and I like good gear. It just It's right here so you can get this strong arm to write your checks or you can get this weak arm to write your checks. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you never know when you got to write a check or take a note. So second thing I like is a water bottle holder. You can hold a giant freaking water bottle or a tiny freaking water bottle because these are elastic. I like the blender bottle because it's got no crap in the plastic if it gets hot and it's really easy to refill. So anyway, blender bottle. Starting on the front pouch, I keep a tourniquet everywhere I go, but it's really great to not have my pockets bulging. I'm using now the MyMedic Rapid Tourniquet because it's very low profile, lightweight, and you can actually put it in your pocket if you need to. And this thing is super quick to use. Anyway, I like the MyMedic uh, Quick Tourniquets. I'm just throwing stuff around. Um, if you're gonna carry a firearm, which I always do, and that's because you're wanting to be prepared for whatever might happen, along that is the chest wound entrance exit vent pads these are the high fin brand they're a good quality because if you're trying to save someone's life you probably don't want the cheapest freaking thing on amazon i think my wife would appreciate that uh, bleed stop powder heavy cuts heavy trauma this stuff is literally a lifesaver um little band-aids for baby boo-boos when i'm with the family and that's it that's it the front pouch i love this too so check it out you can put these zippers are really easy to open and close but very high quality so the way this thing rides it's not going to dump your crap out when you open it all the way up why would i carry off body maybe i want to carry a full frame pistol so this is the Sig Sauer M17. So it differs in from the M18 where it's got the longer barrel. M18 sits around here, but you just can't really CCW a full frame pistol like this. This is chambered in nine millimeter. Um, it comes standard with 17 round mags because it's a Sig and also comes with two 21 rounders. What is great about this type of a bag, and we're not flagging anybody with a live firearm, see? You can fit easily a full frame and two 21 round magazines, which would be really freaking heavy if you had this inside the waistband or even outside the waistband. So a little less conspicuous this way. I've got the Nightcore flashlight also because they sent this with this bag, which I love. This is the P20iX. I've talked about this before. I love how quick it is to go through the functions on this. On is very simple. You turn it on, this button on the back just cycles quickly through. So that's really easy. On and off and cycle through. If the flashlight's in the off position and you push that cycle button, it's your strobe. I love that because most flashlights triple click and if you hit double click, it's super bright. And if you just want a quick strobe, it's just, it's already ready. Rocked and rolled. There's also a, like a little admin pouch. In the admin pouch, I'm carrying uh, the TKL knives combatant so this is a forge scale version 
of the combatant. I release these every few years, so you'd have to be really quick to get that. Instead of the lashing screws, it's got the copper. These run a lot more, but the standard combatant has got the screws without this forge scale look, but the combatant is a very capable blade in a small package. The back of this is kind of bowed because your hand is, and most humans have shape to their hands, unless you're not a human, and then otherwise you can buy somebody else's knife that would not be comfortable. I got two finger wells because it's a shorty grip on this, and that gives you a lot more blade control and a lock, but your finger still wraps. And yes, he designed it where your fingers are comfortable here and you've got that thumb rest for those flick type movements. Balance point as always on all TKL knives is gonna be right there in that front finger well so that you can manipulate and maneuver that blade. Positive lock, thumb ramp push away. I leave the clip on when I'm using an off body carry so that if I want to in transition, I can just clip it right on my belt clip. These are the discrete carry concepts mono blocks that they made to fit our spacing. The combatant is a great blade. As always, my moleskin and then my uh, little note taker. I write some stuff down. And then I keep a little knife sharpener in there because I want to be prepared. So this Nightcore quality of this is outstanding. It's double stitching everywhere. The zippers open really easily. They have these pulls to make stuff accessible. They've got the molly on the front so you can attach other stuff. I choose not to because I want to be a little bit less like I'm carrying a bag full of guns and weapons and just look like it's just a regular man purse. I said it, I did. It's also really well padded on the back. So if you've got valuable stuff like your phone in here, it's gonna protect it better. And then it's got the vented fabric on the back so it doesn't leave a wet spot on your stuff. I really like how accessible and well built this is. So if you're thinking about carrying off body, this is a great option. Think about if you're gonna do that, open up your possibilities to carry more stuff than you could normally CCW. So that's what I got today, guys. Thanks for watching. Say thanks to our patrons. Man, you guys have been awesome. We build custom knives over there. A lot of input on what's coming up in videos, discussion about the types of stuff that we like, all that super secret inside track what's coming stuff goes on over there. So thank you guys. Thanks, patrons.